Hi, um, welcome to another series of The Digest. Um, very happy to have you today with me. I, I will be sharing with you briefly um, this Sunday morning, um, one of the letters Paul wrote to the Galatians, um, Galatians 5 verse 1, Galatians 5 1. It's been a journey in the year and then we are closing, gradually getting close to the end of the year. And what God wants us to do is to prepare ourselves to migrate into the new year with a new mindset of freedom, completely liberating ourselves from every form of entanglement of the past. I have just been carrying this body in the last couple of days, and I feel I should share with you this morning. Um, Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. I'm reading the, uh, the Amplified Version, Galatians 5, 1. It was for this freedom that Christ set us free, completely liberating us. Therefore, keep standing firm and do not be subject again to a yoke of slavery, which you once removed. And this is this is the word. This is this is a this is a time that Paul Wright wrote this letter, and I feel is for us today as a church, as a nation, as a people, for us to forget the past, and then be conscious of our new status in Christ. We have liberation in Him. We have freedom in Him. And then he said completely. We have been liberated completely. We have free access to grace. We don't have to pay for grace. I don't have to pay for grace. It is not by work. We have been offered this is just uh, something, a gift, a free gift, a merited favor from, uh, from God. And that this mindset, I believe, will release us into manifold blessings in the new year. Uh, we've carried, we've had a lot of things happen in the year 2020. And I feel that it's, we should have a break, mental break, a break that will, that will reflect in every facet of our lives, break in, 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 um, in our mental status, break in, 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 in our finances, break even as a nation with the economy. A lot of things have happened, but God wants us to um, to, 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 to see ourselves as free men, free women who have been completely liberated. And when I, when I mean free, when I mean this freedom, this freedom means it, 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 it goes beyond um, and a nation taking, having independence. It goes beyond you being free from a, a divorce. It, it goes beyond you being free from a sickness or ailment in your body, it means mental, mental freedom. It's spiritual freedom. We are no longer bound by the law or by death, but we have been given a free propitiation by the blood of Jesus. Propitiation, taking away our sins, taking away all our guilt. I, I, I think some people are listening to me today that you need to forgive yourself. Christ has borne all the burden. He carried all the body on the cross of Calvary. You need to forgive yourself. You need to forget the past. You need to move to the next dispensation with a free mindset, a freedom mindset, a freedom mentality, grace mentality. And I think this will lead us into a season of multiple blessings. As a ministry, God has been speaking to us, it's going to be a, a season of divine multiplication for us. And then this is my that we are entering, we are with which we are entering into the new year 2021. And I want to share with you today the good news that you have been completely liberated. Paul said it was for this freedom that Christ set us free. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to apply for a credit card for this freedom. You don't have to go take a loan for this freedom. God has given us this freedom through his son. Christ, but this comes by faith. This comes by faith on the platform of grace, which we have received free from above. Thank you for listening to me today. And as you go into this week, I want to encourage you to go into this week and the last couple of days in the year with a mindset that is free, completely being liberated from every cause, from every limitation, every mental health um, slavery, some version says slavery, 
my version say, you don't take up the yoke of slavery anymore. Don't take up the yoke of mental imbalance anymore. Take a yoke of, this simple yoke, a yoke of freedom, liberty in Christ Jesus. Thank you once again for joining me today. I hope to connect with you soon. God bless you. Bye.